Hi Leos, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading between December 9 to 15. We'll see the current energies around you. How does this person feel for you? What is going to happen next? Upcoming events, health and guiding guidance in a nutshell. Please know that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. So take what resonates and leave what does not. For accurate personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. All the details are given down below in the description box. Let's see the messages. Your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign in Leo's cross watches. There you go. Oh. Someone is missing you. Oh my gosh, Leo's. For some of you, this could be a same-sex relationship. Some of you, there is a best friend that is missing you from the past. And you're going to... Uh, hear from this person you're going to hear from your best friend from the past i'm going to see more to this i feel like you were very attached to this person at one point of time but you decided to walk away and since you walked away you literally started working on yourself working on your life feeling very good feeling energetic back in control of your life and boom Past person coming back, wanting you again. I feel like there's someone from the past that literally wants to have you in their life. Okay? Since you walked away, I feel the past person wants you back. For sure. So, it's also because you started working on your emotions. Because you were too emotional at one point of time. But now, you have become that person where your happiness means a lot more than this person being in your life or not and when you worked on yourself this person is seeing a different you and wants to be back in your life yes someone is coming back changed since the day you changed yourself okay there could be a scorpio that wants you back they want to start a new chapter with you they feel happy with you they want to start a new chapter and uh, they want Commitment because they're coming with a new beginning asking for a commitment. That is my dog trying to push away the lights. Okay, anyway, you can see him. <laughs> so this guy or girl is coming for a commitment. They're like, I'm sorry, I made a mistake and now I want you back. Please accept me with all your heart. This is what is happening here. Very clearly, you was right down the comment section. I'm flying high. I'm doing my best. I'm really happy. This person really is caring towards you a lot. They're very, very possessive. They're caring. They want to nourish your soul. They want to pamper you. They want to heal you. They want to make you feel good. They want to make you feel happy. This could be an Aries. This could be a Leo. But they really feel like uh, you are that person that they would rather spend the rest of their life with. I feel like they've started seeing you as uh, their life's source of happiness they want to smother you they want to pamper you they want to be your fatherly figure or your motherly figure okay they want to be with you they cannot control your uh, their happiness when it comes to you they could be a pisces intuitively i feel you know who this person is i'm talking to you about because you're sensing that this person is missing you in your dreams you saw this person craving for you but i'm desperately uh, i can see that this person is desperately craving you and is uh, appearing in your dreams you found someone new i feel like there's someone new that has entered in your life uh, recently and you are not feeling that connection with this new person yet fully uh, you're still trying to come out of this baggage you're still trying to detach yourself from this person from the past I feel like you're finally working on self-development, okay? You want to take good care of yourself. You want to feel confident. You want to feel in love with yourself. You want that self-love energy, okay? You're wanting your, you're loving yourself. This is what I'm seeing, self-confidence. This is what you're working on right now, self-love, self-confidence,
struggling to come out of the past, I feel the years. Something has happened with you. You're still like trying to detach yourself from this person. You may have completely come out of it. Some of you are still into this and you are still doing better, but this person is not doing better at all. They miss you. They feel like it was their mistake for which you left them. And now they want to correct their mistakes. So they want to come towards you. They want to leave the baggage. They want to follow you. They want to be with you. They want to love you. They want to come towards you. They want to make you feel good. This is someone that wants to leave the baggage behind. Okay. So. They feel they've lost a great catch. They can sense that they've lost a great catch, Leo's. And. You are almost in this energy of not wanting to give another shot to this person. You can see this. We have Queen of Swords, we have the Magician, and we have the Three of Wands. You don't want to give them another shot. You're like, I don't want to hurt myself again because I'm already in this energy of moved on. Or you're almost there, you moved on. You're not the same person. Maybe you still have 10% of feelings, but it's just not the same. And you don't want to go back. You don't want to be in a rotten relationship anything that's that's gone you don't want to bring that back so the queen of swords and the magician and the three of wands i feel like you have decided to move on and change your life without love okay you don't want to give importance to love you right now want to be focused about your career about doing something in your life finding your life purpose becoming your best okay i'm also seeing for this you're traveling you, on the other hand, are trying to push this person away and they're trying to manifest you. This is what is happening. They could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Yeah, you're avoiding this. You know deep inside that this person wants to talk to you, but you're avoiding them. You're totally avoiding them. You don't want to talk to them. It has been extremely hurtful for you and you don't want to go on the same road once again. So you're pushing this person away. You're pushing any kind of expectations. Okay. You want to draw the line between you guys. You want to stay detached. You don't want to know that this person loves you or not. But the truth is, currently, this is the one that wants to come back and fix things with you. Well, one more person is coming in real soon or you've just met that is falling in love with you. Who do you choose? Because somewhere I feel like this new person does not make you feel the same way. Or there is still time for you to totally trust this new person coming into your life. So you have two options and you want to give a chance to the new person. But the past person will desperately seek your attention that you may have to give them a shot at least. That's what you will think. Libra, maybe a Libra is coming in. I'm seeing that the new, if you would ask me, Enigma, which of these options better for me? I would say even though the past is missing you, they're in love with you, but they're not healthy for you. This new person is very healthy because the justice card over here is saying this is definitely someone that understands you on the same page and will value and respect you. You're becoming way too mature in your work and you're doing really wonders. You're doing wonders at your work. And someone is keeping a close eye at your work and is not liking that you're succeeding in life. There is someone that's keeping a close eye and wants to take away your position. Either there are old women, married women, or it is someone that is a male at your workplace. I'm seeing you're going to get a promotion. Someone is talking in your favor, but there are certain people that might interfere in your growth. Okay, in your promotion. So uh, have a look out on that. I'm seeing most of you could be in 20s, if not 30s or 40s. I'm seeing 20s is very strongly coming here. Then this is the read for you. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to apologize for the mistake they made. They know they crossed the line and now they want to come with you. They want trust. They want, uh, they want to make you trust them. They all want to apologize, basically. I'm not seeing you allowing this. Even though the chemistry is way too strong between you guys, okay? this It's still strong. It's still going strong. The chemistry is still something that you cannot forget. And someone new is coming in. Oh, deception. 
I told you, this person did deceive you, but the fact that they're in love with you is something that you cannot ignore. But that doesn't mean you go back to this person. I'm seeing a new person that is very, very attracted to you and it's time for you to date them because this is your possible soulmate. Anything else, my Leos, please? Okay. Time to make a demonstration. It's time for you to express yourself because the past is coming where they will be the listener and you will be the speaker. You will talk about what hurt you and what affected you and how things have, uh, you know, um, gone forward. You're going to... You are going to speak up for yourself and this person will be sitting there and listening to you. Now you don't need this person. You really do not. That is what you're going to say. Karma. It is karma playing in your favor. This person wants you back. Start where you are. It's time for you to have a new beginning now. Okay. Forget the past. Rise ahead. Move ahead in life. Then we are having the world. The world is at your feet. A new opportunity in love, in career is seeking you. Something big and exciting is coming your way. <clears throat> right now in the comment section, I'm ready for this big change in my life. You will have more clarity about your mind. I feel like you were very confused in the past and now you have better clarity. You know uh, that... Whom to trust, whom not to trust and which is the path right for you. You're not going to fall for someone just because you have a heart for someone. You're going to use your logic over your heart. And this is very important. Someone has their birthday on 17. Okay. Another hint. Someone is a shopper, chef or an entrepreneur. Message in the bottle. Expect a message from the past person, for sure. They want you and they want to say that they made a mistake and they really want another shot with you. Are you ready for this? Write down the comment section, let me know whether you're ready for this or not. Because either way, it's the jackpot because you also have new love offer coming in that really wants to be with you. Yes, you're being spiritually protected. Whatever decision you take is something that you will be taking based on your intuitive um, voice, your inner voice. You will listen to your inner voice and take a decision accordingly. And you're feeling spiritually protected. Okay? Yes, you're going to beat all the challenges in your life. Wow, all the challenges are leaving. You're going to be super blessed. You will be super happy. And then you're having time to decide. So it's time for you that you will be making a crucial decision of your life, whether this or the new. Okay, based on that, I'm seeing new changes, big changes in your life are taking place. Yours, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your soulmate is coming. The next person is your soulmate. They're falling in love with you. They are ready to manifest in your life physically. They're getting manifested real soon, okay? So write down the comment section. I'm ready to meet my soulmate. I'm so excited. All right, let me see the signs coming in for my Leo's. Wonderful Leo's. All right, we have Aquarius. We have Capricorn. We have Pisces. From Aries to Pisces, your feelings, their feelings towards Leo's, you. Aries to Pisces, please. Let me see Aries first. Aries definitely is uh, trying to find a way to reach out to you and communicate with you. I feel like this person is confused because they are definitely having someone in their life. Taurus. Taurus is coming towards you slowly because they're distracted. Gemini is done. Over. Cancer is trying too aggressively, too hard. They're fearful that you will leave them. You'll not like them. You'll reject them. Leo wants marriage. 
Virgo sees you as uh, a stable partner. They really want to get to know you so that they can think of settling down with you. Libra, they are a mess. Leave them alone. Scorpio, very, very intimately attached to you, attracted to you. Sagittarius, falling in love deep. Capricorn, juggling between you and someone else. Not in a bad way. They're still deciding you are an option. Another person is an option. Um, this is Aries, Taurus, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. Yes, Aquarius. Aquarius is, uh, I feel like they're very confused about their feelings for you. Sometimes it's like they want you. Sometimes they don't know. So they have a lot of other things that they want to focus on first. Pisces is coming towards you passionately. They want to drive you crazy. They want to sweep you off. There's someone that cannot control their feelings. And this person's making it obvious that you mean a lot to them. Anything else? Boundaries. Set solid boundaries. The moment you set solid boundaries, nobody else can come and drain you. Okay, and take away your energy, your strength. This is very important. Be strongly, uh, strongly establish them. Establish your boundaries really strongly, okay? And let me see the challenge here. Okay, you have a water sign interested. This person is someone that has blocked you or you blocked them and they will unblock you. I'm seeing that they're secretly watching all your pictures and going crazy and crying over you. This person is also watching tarot reading, trying to find out your feelings for them or any other related stuff to just find what's going on with you. This person secretly is watching you and obsessing over you, but outside they show you that they're not getting hurt. They're very happy. Yes. Someone new is coming in, wear your rose gold glasses because your soulmate is very close to you. Your person has S and D as their initials and SD. Someone's from South Sudan, Saudi Arabia. Any country that starts from S or D. I feel like right now it's important for you to be in control of your emotions, set solid boundaries because only then will you know what is the right decision to make in the current moment? Don't take any decision. Be at the pause right now. Okay. Be on a standstill right now. Someone is in entertainment line. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing on social media. I feel like you're caging yourself in the same situation. Like maybe you need to come out of your comfort zone, do something else. This is also what is going on in your mind, but you're not taking action. I think you should go for it. There you go. A proposal is coming in from your soulmate. A message is coming in from your soulmate telling you that, hey, would you go out with me? So it's going to be sweet gesture. It's going to make you feel so happy, so good. Beautiful. This is someone that is romantic. Scorpio Pisces Cancer. They're watching you with rose gold glasses. They have no idea what's going to go, but they're just surrendering to the universe, falling in love with you and without any excuses. No complaints. They're obsessing. I feel like this is... Okay, they on the flip side are literally, you know, want to live a moment with you, the current moment, but you are living somewhere from the past or there is an energy of you still being stuck somewhere in the past and trying to come out of it because your mind keeps on reading 24-7 about what happened with you in the past or you're trying to heal yourself and move on, become more stable. It's taking time, but I feel like in two weeks time, you will be a different person because um whatever you have been obsessing over or thinking over and over again about all of this is going to end you can see you will be seeing changes for good in your life starting to happen within two weeks time okay i'm also saying you're trying to keep your heart in control and avoiding the people that are toxic for you that's your reading leos i hope you've enjoyed this wonderful reading um 
do come back for more stuff like share comment and subscribe to ayinigba bye